Hello everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Demystifying Research. Today we will be tackling the topic of artificial intelligence, better known as AI, as well as its use in medicine, specifically for premature retinopathy, blindness that occurs in young children. Keep an eye out during this video for a special guest, Sajid Rahim, a PhD candidate at McMaster University, who will also be joining us to talk about his work in AI that is leading to breakthroughs in diagnosing premature retinopathy. Now first, you might be wondering what exactly is artificial intelligence or AI? Well, it's a wide and diverse field of data, algorithms, analytics, machine learning, deep learning, neural networks, and insights that are constantly growing and adapting to the demands of the healthcare sector and its patients. But machine learning, what exactly is it? It works with the information provided to execute a function which only gets better with time, and deep learning allows machines to make accurate decisions without human assistance. AI itself has numerous applications in medical diagnostics, such as medical imaging, digital health records, analysis and disease identification, as well as predicting outbreaks. AI is also transformative in healthcare because it can analyze vast amounts of data much faster and more accurately than humans. It leverages patterns derived from medical records, imaging, and genetic information to aid in early disease detection, personalized medicine, and decision making. Its predictive capabilities enhance preventative care, reduce diagnostic errors, and streamline operational efficiencies, ultimately leading to improved patient outcomes and reducing costs. But what exactly is the future of AI? While well, AI can assist in identifying regions where a particular illness is more common and give patients a more personalized treatment plan. Now this future in AI is particularly helpful in difficult to diagnose diseases like premature retinopathy or ROP. But what even is it and why is it important? Well, premature retinopathy or ROP affects a significant number of preterm babies impacting their vision. With the rise in premature births, the need for early detection and intervention is more crucial than ever. In diagnosing premature retinopathy, diagnostic imaging is pivotal. AI, particularly those deep learning algorithms that we talked about earlier, have transformed this process. But how does it work? AI uses that deep learning to recognize those patterns and abnormalities in images of the eye from these babies, allowing for early identification of retinopathy or the stages of blindness. Once a diagnosis is made, AI also plays a role in that treatment planning. It can suggest personalized treatment options, including laser therapy, to prevent vision loss. With AI's assistance, doctors can better determine the precise areas that require treatment, reducing the risk of over- or under-treatment, but most importantly, preserving the baby's eyesight. Let's now hear from McMaster PhD candidate Sajid Rahim, who will be telling us a bit more about what research is like using AI to diagnose ROP. Hi, this is Sajid. I am actually a PhD candidate with the Department of Computer Science and uh, doing a multidisciplinary um, thesis with the Pediatrics Department of McMaster Hospital. The thesis topic, of, in my case, is actually of, uh, by, uh, of using novel image processing that is able to actually prepare a very good uh, quality image of a retina of a pediatric uh, patient. Once that image is actually pre-processed using these new techniques, we then actually prepare a model that actually is able to take these images, run it through these algorithms for the pre-processing, and from there we are able to determine whether the, uh, the eye of the patient has plus disease, it has got which stage of the ROP, is present, meaning stage zero to stage five, stage zero being the non-affected eye, to stage five, which means that the child has actually got a full-blown detachment. So that is the two conditions. And the last condition that we check for is whether from the center of the eye, how far is the pathology? And there are zones that we have. So there's zone one, zone two, zone three. So using this method that we have actually proposed, the idea is to clean up the image in such a way that you can get all three classifications out in a very quick manner. The importance of this work is very cru cru critical because 
to this date, there are only nine studies whereby our AI has been used to diagnose ROP within pediatric circle. And all of them have actually got a serious challenge whereby the image is quality itself, especially for stages, is actually very poor. Now, we have made very, very strong breakthrough with this by having an improved image processing that to date actually produces the best classification for stages and actually is the first one for zones as well, for zone two. Now, the impact of this is very significant because there are very, very few uh, pediatric ophthalmologists who are specialized in ROP. And given the what we call the third wave of uh, ROP epidemic that's going on around the world, this helps p- uh, patients who are actually in remote areas to be triaged much quicker in a clinical setting, i.e. the image is pre-processed and sent to the ophthalmologist, or we can leverage AI to do the first diagnosis. While AI is making a difference by helping doctors detect conditions like retinopathy in premature babies, there are some important ethical considerations that we need to talk about. Let's break it down into some simple terms. Imagine you're a parent with a premature baby, and a doctor suggests using AI to analyze images of your baby's eyes. This AI can quickly spot signs of retinopathy, which is vital for early treatment and detection. The first ethical consideration of using AI for this condition is getting informed consent. Before using your baby's images, the doctor should explain how AI works and what it will be used for. You need to say yes to make it happen. The second is privacy and data security. These images can be super personal because they contain sensitive information. Think of them like fingerprints. We must ensure that only the right people can access them and that they stay away from hackers or misuse. For these reasons, AI systems must be designed with robust security measures to prevent unauthorized access, data breaches, and misuse of patient data. Finally, a last important ethical consideration that is needed when using AI for medical image analysis is transparency. AI can sometimes seem like a black box. This black box nature of some AI models can be ethically concerning because it can lead to a lack of accountability and trust. If it's too secretive, it's hard to trust, and we all want to know what's going on. Therefore, in order to really build that trust, patients and healthcare professionals should understand how AI works in order to make those diagnostic assessments. It's like having a clear window into the brain. So, there you have it. AI can do some pretty amazing things for healthcare and research, but it comes with a set of responsibilities. It's all about that consent, privacy, and transparency. This makes sure that everyone gets a fair shot at good health, especially eyesight. Let's keep these ethical principles in mind as we embrace AI in medicine and see a vision of better diagnostics for all. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Demystifying Research. Tune in next time! And be sure to subscribe.